Cooper. I'm tired of these guys saying the same lines. And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the St. Louis Cardinals taking on the Baltimore Orioles. First pitch coming at you right after the break. All right, just about set to go, and on the mound in this one, Corbin Burns. Chris, what are you looking for from him? Anytime you have five pitches to work with on the mound, that repertoire can be a real weapon in terms of keeping yeah, hitters yeah, off yeah, balance, yeah, man. It's, it's one of those things that I'm going to be looking for in this one. Does he have a feel for all of those pitches, or is he just able to get one or two over in the strike zone where he wants? Now, it's tough to do to be able to command all those pitches, but if he can, he is going to be very tough for the opponent today. Breaking ball drops in for a strike. One and one. Goodness, I think he just took the best pitch he's going to see in this at bat. You don't get many like that in that location. I don't know if you take that pitch against any pitcher out there on the mound. And here it comes. That's ball off two. the mark, and it's two and one. We got two balls, one strike. Hammer, and now maybe extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. And he's got a leadoff double. Everything came together for him. Got a good pitch to drive. Stayed short with his bat pad to the ball and caught it out front. And he stayed long in his follow pool. That's how you split the gap. And that's pretty much a double every time. Here's Paul Goldschmidt. Pitch misses inside, ball one. You have to be creative pitching against bad ball hitters. You got to add some velocity, subtract at times. Just avoiding the heart of the plate isn't always going to be enough. Guys like this can hurt you with pitches you wouldn't expect them to swing at. The pitch. Oh. Up and in, and now 2-0. There's a strike. Oh, I think that pitch surprised all of us. Right down the middle, doesn't get a swing. Not very often you see a hitter lay off a cookie like that. And that one is lifted in the air. Sizes this one up. And there's one down. That is her. The right Now we take a check of the St. Louis Cardinals lineup. Now it's going to be Lars Newtbar. Ball. And that one a little below the knees. And that is ball one. Right through there for a strike. I got one ball, one strike. In for a strike and a count one and two. One ball. Well, he got away with the mistake right there. A curveball that backed up a little bit, stayed high in the zone. You don't want to throw that one again. too excited it was out in front tell you what when you get a pitch like that you cannot miss it Just have a chance to go a long way Nolan Arenado in the box with two gone and takes a look at a called strike two outs and one in scored position that one hit to right Santander makes the catch and that'll do it 
So one left for the Cardinals, and now the O's will get their first crack at it. No score. You're dialed into the show. Back now at Oriole Park, and now here's the starter for St. Louis. It's Sonny Gray. I'm going to scout a report on him. Well, that 12 to 6 curveball explodes out of the hand because he's able to throw the high fastball at the top of the strike zone. For a strike, hitters commit to that pitch, and before they know it, they're swinging over the top of that curveball. And into the box for Baltimore, Gunnar Henderson. The line of the pitch. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Gray, an all-star a season ago. He features a four-seam fastball, a slur, a curve, a sinker, and occasionally uses a cutter. Pitch misses, and now it's even one and one. Left-hand hitter waits. Got him looking, and he did not like the call. Here's Adley Rutschman. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Ball one, no strike. Kicks and deals. That one out to right. Newt Bar drifts towards it. Puts it away for the out. Time now to take a look at the Orioles lineup put together by manager Brandon Hyde. Anthony Santander at the plate. Hammer down the right side, but foul. Two out spaces empty. In the air, center field. Edmund going after it. He's got it, and that is out number three. Scoreless after one. Back here in Baltimore, new inning getting started, and up to hit is Wilson Contreras. Burns, a Northern California native, he was a fourth-round pick out of St. Mary's where he played alongside an outfielder who eventually made it to the majors. Yeah, that guy's name was Tony Gonsolin, made it as a pitcher. Fastball for a strike, and it's all along. Burns, multi-time all-star. He throws a cutter, a curve, a changeup, a slider, and he works in a sinker. Bounce to the left side. Mateo oh. sends it to first. Leadoff man retired here in the second. That is good. The second base is Nolan. Here's Nolan Gorman. In there for strike one. That one fouled off. and misses struck him out well that's pretty much the dream two strike curveball if you're the pitcher hard downward break at the very end that just dips below the swing path and they say pitchers want to try to bounce that pitch right on top of the plate so that was exactly what he was looking for on the mound stepping in Jordan Walker
Righty delivers. Ripped on the ground a second. Slings to first. St. Louis goes down in order. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. Now to the bottom of the second. No score. And we're back. Leading bottom of the off. inning. Four and now the first baseman, Ryan O'Hearn. Gray, back to work. And right through there for a strike. 0 and 1. And a pitch. Fought off foul. In ball one. Kicks and fires. That two one balls. misses. Two, two and two. That one the other way. Win. Fires over to first. That's one out, the bottom of the second. Cedric Mullins, the next to hit for the Orioles. Late on that fastball. Well, he threw that fastball oh, right by him. Gives him a little bit of confidence, but in the back of your mind, you got to think, is he trying to set me up for later in this at bat? Ed Drummond, our umpire behind the plate in this one. Yeah, Boog, he's a really fair umpire, both the pitchers and the hitters. So standard strike zone, he's consistent with it. And the great thing is you don't see players question the calls too much. So that's a good thing in this day and age. Good oh. eye right there. It's a good take. No score here in the second. Got swinging. Two down. Just a hammer. 12-6 curveball right there, bro. That was that exactly what he wanted to do. <laughs> Not a ton of pitchers can throw a true 12-6 break, but he does. And you can't throw it any better than he did right there. Here's Ryan Mountcastle. Now he catches the corner for a strike. In the air, right field, sizing this one up. And that ends the inning. We'll move to the third with no score. Tell me what you want, what you really And welcome back to the ballpark. And now, Tommy Edmond. Tommy Edmond. And he deals. Hit in the air, center field. Mullins calls it in, and there's one away. Mason Wynn next up for the Cardinals. In for a strike. It's 0-1. Not sure if he could be in more of a groove. Looks really relaxed. He's retired seven straight. This guy's feeling it right now. The pitch. Strike two. Well, you got the hitter already chasing that nasty slider. If you're on the mound, you just want to expand the zone right now. Get a swing and miss and get through this at bat. Got him. That's on number two. And Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it. Keep him off balance, get him out of there, and deal with the next guy. Back to the leadoff spot in the St. Louis lineup. Brendan Donovan. Next up for the Cardinals. Swing and a miss. 0-1. Top of the 
top of the third, no score. Out to short, Mateo. Zips it across, and that is that. Nothing doing there for St. Louis. Still no score. Everybody want to go different ways. Everybody want to have different tastes. But we always throw our feet in the waist. Same style, but they look in the same. Back now at Oriole Park as we go to the last of the third. And into the box for Baltimore, Austin Hayes. The wind and the pitch. Now fly ball to right center. Edmund going after it. He's got it. One away. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. And stepping in is the speedy Jorge Mateo. Swing and a base hit. No waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. The man at first with one gone. Now it's the second baseman, Jordan Westberg. Sonny Gray checks on the runner. It's low and gets away. One finds the zone. Going one. All ones the count. Man at first, one away. I got a ball. One Pitch second. out, but no action. Two. And there's the ball. Really good take, especially with two strikes. In the air, right side. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Two down. Now batter. Third baseman. Gunner. So the lineup flips over. Here's the third baseman. Gunner Henderson. He's 0 for 1. And a pitch out, but nothing going on. Two outs. Nice. Big swing and a miss. Good one late ball, sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. Mateo, round second on his way to third. Headed for the plate. He will score and they take the lead. One nothing. It's around the board and picks up an RBI. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. And it's scored position with two away. And now, Adley Rutschman flied to right his first time. So two down, still next to hit for Baltimore. Anthony Santander, 
0 for 1 with a fly out to center. There's a strike. Righty to the plate. That one lifted to left. Walker makes the grab, and that's the inning. Two runs, three hits, no errors, and one left. On to inning number four. It's the Orioles two and the Cardinals nothing. Out of the fourth, down the number two hitter, Paul Goldschmidt. Paul Goldie goes six feet, three inches, over 1,000 runs batted in in his career. Can't forget to mention he's a former MVP. And the pitch. There's a swing and a miss. Generally, second All third run. time through the lineup, you want to be able to lean on those secondary pitches and command them. Looks like he's doing a nice job of it. Right-hander kicks deals. Yeah. Swing and a miss. Oh, well, this can be kind of frustrating for the hitting coach. Right now, this lineup seems to be swinging at everything. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. The right dominant performance for him today, Boo. Just two hits allowed so far. No runs across either. And he's had an answer for just about every hitter he's faced. So I don't think this hit is going to knock him off his stride too much. At the play, Lars Newtbar struck out swinging his first time. That's oh. off the mark, and that's ball one. Well, here's a good opportunity in this inning to get on the scoreboard after that leadoff hit and hard the order coming up right behind them. This is where they need to get going. The pitch. That hey. one catches the zone, and a count one and one. Goldie gets his lead at first with nobody out. In the air out to right. Santander drifts towards it. Puts it away for the out. And there's one away. Now got it. Third base. Nolan. Here's Nolan Arenado. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. In the dirt. And the runner holds. The cards down by a pair. Top half of inning number four. And now two and one. Knowing that the pitcher wants a ground ball double play opportunity here, you've got to lay off pitches down in the zone. Right there, swinging at that pitch, that's a no-no. And another ball. Three balls, two strikes, the count. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Three-two on the way. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Well, that's a pro ball that I'm sure he wants back at the plate. Two strikes, that's sort of pitcher open for a bit of a mistake, and I'd say in a very hittable location, but clearly the break was enough to get him to swing through it. Wilson Contreras, next up for the Cardinals. 
grounded out his first time. And it's fouled away. The pitch. And a foul ball. Two outs. Goes down, swinging for the strikeout. Slider got him for a strike three. The Cards leave one. They trail things here, two nothing. So it seems you've got it. Bottom four, and here's gone. the first baseman, Ryan O'Hearn. The first base And the pitch. There's a strike. Boom. Over 80% of his first pitches are strikes. You're doing that, you could have a really good day out there on the mound. Swings through that one for strike two. No ball, two strikes. The 0 2. One and ball, ball one. Two strikes. On the ground to the left. Not in time. He legs it up. Tough play on a nice backhand stop. Had to be perfect with the exchange and throw to get the out. But it looked like he had to dig in there a little deeper, like he was trying to get a split finger grip or something. Close play, but that little extra time on the transfer made all the difference. Cedric Mullins, the next to hit for the Orioles. 0 for 1, he struck out swinging last time. That one finds the zone. 0 and 1. Runner at first with no outs here. That one is absolutely belted. And it's a one hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. They add on as the run scores all the way from first. And they lead by three. He was all over that one. Nice line drive with the full side. Met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. Here's the designated hitter for the Orioles, Ryan Mountcastle. There's the strike. And it's second. That nope. misses the zone, and the count is one and one. At the belt and fires. And oh, that's inside. off the inside edge. Two and one. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. I think he was sitting off speed there. Mullins stands at second with no outs. Breaking ball there just off the corner where you can't really do much damage, but it's close enough where you've got to protect, and he just couldn't find a way to fight it all. Now the left fielder, Austin Hayes. Kind of a throwback. No batting gloves. Up and in, and it's 1-0. Wouldn't chase that time. One out and a runner at second. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Oh. 
swing and a bouncer. Win. Throws the yeah. first in time. Yeah, he looked a little tentative on that swing. Almost no, like he didn't no, get no, pitch no, recognition. No, no, no. Tried to slow his back down just to make contact. I'd rather see a guy swing through it instead of making weak contact and putting it in play. Have another pitch where maybe he can drive out of the ballpark. At the ball. Squirts away a little bit. Nope, no. And no movement on the bases. It's ball one. Runner at second, two down. On the corner for a strike. And this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. The shortstop takes the ball. Not really attacking on the mound in this at bat. All breaking balls, so that makes me think they're not really wanting to challenge him here. And on second, two down. This one popped up right side. Gorman makes the catch in a goal. The O's add one and an RBI double. It's now 3 0. It's Major League Baseball and it's on the show. This is what I'm made for. Every single moment that I'm living, I can feel it on the stage. You don't know the half of half of what I've given to make it up to this level every day at home. And we're back. We Top five, John Shami with Chris the Singleton. Second. And leading it off, Nolan Gorman. Burns back to work. That pitch in for a strike. It's 0-1. You know, these Cardinals just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. Chasing pitches has been a big part of the story. We've seen it quite a bit today. It's been tough for them to make contact at times, and it just doesn't look like they're seeing it very well as a group. And that one hit 97 on the gun. And on the mound, you know confidence has to be pretty high with all of the swings and misses. Nope. He's had him eaten out of the palm of his hand pretty much all game. Swing and a miss, two. and it's two and two. Two balls, two strikes. And the right hander deals. Hell that one four. outside, and that's ball three. Expect for that guy to come right at you with a fastball, something in the zone, because he does not want to allow the leadoff wall. Swings here and blasts one left field. That one's carrying. And it one hops the wall. And that's a leadoff double. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself now, into a good left count. Left. Just a cookie Here down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. So, man aboard. Jordan Walker next up for the Cardinals. And there's a foul ball. The Orioles leading by three. And we're at the top of the fifth. The next oh, pitch one. misses. And one and one. And that's outside. Swing and a miss. Two and two now. Hits and misses. It's a strikeout. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front there. Just needs to let the ball travel a little more. His timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. Tommy Edmond at the plate. And that one lifted in the air center field. 
Mullins makes the grab. Two down. Now it's going to be Mason Wynn. Mason Wynn. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. And the righty deals. Hit on the ground to the right side. And that's just foul. up strikeout number seven so they've been held scoreless through five it's the Orioles three and the Cardinals nothing back here in Baltimore Leading ready to go for the last half of the inning and into the box for Baltimore Jordan Westberg why to kick the pitch? That's in there. Strike one. All one's the count. And a pitch. And ball that's right outside. Now. And it's a ball and a strike. And New another one. ball. Oh, Next well, offering is outside. He hasn't fallen behind in the count like this all day. He's in danger of walking his first batter right here. Three and two now. Good plate That's appearance four, four. there. Able to take the walk. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter Leading didn't offer at it. Four, now four, he has four, somebody four. to worry about over at first. Four, four, four. So back to the top of the Orioles lineup. Now with the plate, Gunnar Henderson. One for two. This is one of those situations the infielders have to pre-plan and understand that the ball's got to be hit extremely hard right at them if they're going to have a chance to go for a double play. Westberg gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Splits the plate, and it's 0-2. Movement of the bullpen for the Cardinals. Andre Palante appears to be getting ready, and I'm sure he's feeling some nerves. This would be his major league debut. Kittredge warming up as well. One ball, two strikes. In the dirt, no advance. Good job behind the dish. Sonny Gray checks on the hey. runner. Westberg back in standing. Base runner with a one-way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. Kicks and deals. Bows it off. Still one and two. Here comes a pitch. And it's even up. Nobody out. Runner at first. Sharp grounder. That's through for base hit. 
throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. I don't think that pitch would have been called a strike, but he did such a nice job of pulling his hands tight to the body and just getting enough of the barrel on it to be hard enough back up the middle for a knock. John King comes on now. Well, at this point of the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and he need a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Adley Rutschman, the next to hit for the Orioles. Missed with a changeup, and that's ball one. First and second here, no outs. Puts the corner and a count one and one. And here it comes. Swing and a miss, and the count is one and two. And he hits a ground ball right side, and it's through for a hit. Rounds third, headed for the plate. He's safe. Two consecutive base hits for this team. Just a simple ground ball the other way that had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. Anthony Santander now at the plate. The switch hitter batting right. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. Not the easiest thing when you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation, you know, maybe a long relief guy to not start an inning, to come into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable. Check swing. He went too far, and it's a strike. One run across in the frame so far. Last half of inning number five. Wouldn't That's chase that time. Tough to take a two-strike changeup that just missed. I think it froze him. Now he breaks his bat. Gorman throws the Three first. Down. And that's the first out in the bottom of the fifth. Well, that actually works out for the hitter. If it's not a broken bat, it's hit hard enough for a double play. But with the slower roller, defense does a nice job of at least getting one out of it. Comes up to him. Right down the chute, and that's strike one. Hey. And that one clips the corner. Two on, one out. Three. Struck him out swinging. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Now Next to hit, Cedric Mullins. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. And that one clips the corner. Second and third, two down. And strike two. And at bat like this is almost over as it begins. In this situation, you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be. You just got to hope that you can make contact. On the ground to third. Over to Goldie. Yeah. And they get Mullins for the out. Inning over, and it could have been worse. But they pick up one run on the RBI single. It's now a 4 nothing ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show.
And welcome back to the ballpark. And here is Brendan Donovan. Brendan Donovan. And a pitch. Right side. Santander makes the grab one away. Now back the first base. Paul, Paul Goldschmidt, the Goldschmidt. next to hit. That one nope. is upstairs. Looking to get something going. This is the guy you want at the plate. He's been great for this team. He is a professional hitter. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss, strike one. Just an outstanding yeah, one ball, job one of spinning the baseball, moving it around, doing what he does. Kicks and fires. Right through there for a strike. This to third. And they get Goldschmidt for the out. Now back. Right field. Lars Newtbar. Two outs. Base is empty. And now the right fielder. Lars Newtbar. Strike one. No, there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. One. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. Oh, one down. A little out front there as he swings through it. Oh, this two. guy's pounding the zone. Hitters don't have time to think in between pitches. The Orioles leading by four, and we're in the top half of the sixth. Three. And down on strikes he goes. And it's a three up, three down inning. And down in order go the Cardinals. They trail it here, four nothing. Well, we go bottom six. Now it's the DH, Ryan Mountcastle. The pitch. Out towards right center. That's well struck. And that one hops the wall. Safe at second with a leadoff double. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. So, man aboard. Here's the left fielder, Austin Hayes. In the dirt, gets away from Contreras. Mountcastle up to third on the wild pitch. And now the lefty sliced hard but foul. Runner in third, nobody out here in the bottom of the sixth. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. A gigantic blast. And they throw a pair on the board. It's 6 nothing. Well, that one won't stay below the radar. That made a lot of noise. Well, you can see he was out front just a little bit. Maybe didn't recognize change up earlier but he got the bat head to it hooked it down the line and was able to keep it fair for a long long run really impressive Mateo in the box again takes a strike the 
pitch. Ground ball up the middle. On the run, sends it over to first. One away, bottom of the sixth. That's what a good sinker is designed to do. Get a guy to roll over a little bit, hit the ball on the ground, kill some worms while you're at it. And the batter now, Jordan Westberg. First pitch misses. That one drifts inside. The lefty fires on the ground, and it goes just foul. The wind of the pitch. That's inside, and the count is three and one. That one rips. And it's a one hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. And he's got a double. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. What a pretty good swing on that one as he drove it out to deep left. Didn't quite have the right combination of launch angle and exit velocity to get it over the fence, but you're never going to be disappointed with extra bases. Gunnar Henderson, the next to hit for the Orioles. And first offering is fouled off. One out and a runner at second. Comes up empty. Very well executed changeup right there. If he can command the fastball consistently, that's going to be an important pitch in terms of him turning this outing around. Left hand hitter waits. Hard hit left side. Over to Goldie. Two away. Now back. The catcher. Adley. Adley Rutschman up now. He didn't just play baseball while at Oregon State, see? Adley was also on the football team. Yeah, that's right. Adley was a place kicker his freshman year, averaged 60 yards per kick. And we've all seen the highlight of him tackling Christian McCaffrey. Not an easy. Whips it across. That ends the inning. And they limit the damage. Baltimore with a two-run shot this inning. It's now a 6-0 ball game. It's Major League Baseball on the show. All set for the Leading start of the inning. Hard, hard. Down the third baseman, the third Nolan baseman. Arenado. Nolan Arenado. The right-hander back to work. And that drops in for a strike. And he deals. Swinging a foul straight back. Next pitch is outside. And another ball. Left field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. One down. Good pitch. He just kind of had him out in front on that pitch away and wasn't able to stay closed. Wilson Contreras digs in now. He swings and fouls one off. This one in the air right field. Santander in pursuit. Two away down.
Two outs, bases empty. Now the batter now, Nolan Gorman. That yeah. one finds the zone. That's strike one. That curveball has been a big pitch for him today. He's been able to get ahead in the count with it. He's also been able to use it to put guys away. Nope. The next Out offering there. misses. One ball, one strike. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Clearly was sitting on a fastball right there and just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. Two and another two ball. Strike. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. Redbirds down quietly. They still find themselves down. Six zip. Set for the last half of the seventh. And into the box for Baltimore. Anthony Santander. The wind and the pitch. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Keenan Middleton getting ready to go. Swing and a miss. And the count is 0-2. 0-2 is the count. The pitch. One Not ball. even close two there. Strength. And it's 1-2. and two. And miss struck him out and one away. The bat. The Here's the Oriole cleanup hitter, Ryan O'Hearn. One for three. Fastball for a strike, and it's 0 and 1. One out, base is empty. On the ground, right side, and foul ball. One down, base is empty. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. The wind of the pitch. Fouls it back with two strikes. Base is empty, one away. Here, the bottom of the seven. Scorch to center. No doubt about it. That is long gone. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it. Change here, Andre Palante. And with the big deficit on the scoreboard, he almost has to just put that out of his mind. Every outing matters for relievers and their numbers, but I think it's tough to get up for this type of appearance the same way you would for one in a close game. Now, Cedric Mullins. And first offering is fouled off. Palante in his second season, 25 years old, and he was drafted in the fourth round back in 2019. The pitch. And that one fouled off.
the 0-2. And look Pat. out as that one ran in and got him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him at first. And now the DH, Ryan Mountcastle. That one finds the zone. Going oh, one's one. the count. Mullins at first, one gone. Next offering way three. upstairs. And a pitch. Wouldn't Whoa. chase that time. Swing and a miss. Check on the runner, and he's back in there. On the ground, right side, Goldie. Toss to second, return throw to first, got him. Double play, and that'll do it. Solo Homer brings in one for Baltimore. It's now 7 nothing. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Always we know. Just some things, some things we show. Oh, cool hat trick. Watch me backspin off the Atlas. Pass to me. We're at the top of the eight. Now, here is Jordan Walker. Jordan Walker. And a pitch. And nope, that one the ball. cutting but missing down low. That one sizzling on its way through to the outfield. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. He wasn't able to elevate it, but he put a great swing on it. Right on time, good, balanced approach, and just blasted it through the infield. And here is ball. Tommy Edmond. Pitch misses, and that is ball one. Well, the leadoff man gets on. You want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully the pitcher can get a ball on the ground, and they can roll him up for two. Center field. Mullins makes the grab on the run. Now back. Mason win. So man aboard. And now Mason Wynn, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. Edge of the zone for a strike. 1 1. Usually, when a pitcher's had a dominant outing, he has filled up the strike zone and he's gotten ahead in the count with first pitch strikes. Well, that's exactly what this guy has done in this one. Over 70% first pitch strikes. Ball. In the dirt. 1 0. Well done behind the dish. The Redbirds with a lot of ground to make up, and we're in the top of the eighth. Ripped, but it curls foul. That two missed balls. by a lot. Two now two and two. Described as a hammer for Uncle Charlie, and you can see why. It's not a looping slow curve. He throws it hard, and it gets plenty of bite on the end. Donovan well, stands in with two away as he takes a ball. That That's one ball. missed. Two balls, no strike. There's a hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out.
And now the first baseman, Paul Goldschmidt. Pitch misses inside. Ball one. And another ball. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Two outs. Couple of base runners at first and second. That one's spoiled, and the count now two and one. Righty to the plate. That one fouled off. Outside. Okay. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. That's the third. Gathers and throws to first. And they get Goldschmidt for the out. And that is the inning. So the cards strand a couple not going their way. It's 7 0. I my And we're back. Leading out the left fielder, Austin Hayes. No left fielder. Okay. Hayes. Right through there for a strike. There's a strike. And the right hander deals. That one almost got him. This to third. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. And he beats it. That's a hit. Great try there. And at first, and now the shortstop, Jorge Mateo. That one's in there, and that is strike one. Righty delivers. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. And the righty deals. Ground ball to the right oh, side. And ball. that's just foul. That to right. Newt Bar moves under it. And out number one on the grab. Now that second base Every day just to pay me and now Jordan Westberg. Hard hit, left field base hit. And it gets by him. Hayes coming around third. One run is in. Hustle out of the box, man. He drove that baseball. He was thinking triple right away. Back to the top of the lineup, Gunnar Henderson, the next to hit for the Orioles. Just missed.
That one inside. And the count is 2 and 0. Westberg stands at third with one gone in the inning. Next That's offering ball, is downstairs. In there for a strike at the top of the zone. Next offering is in for a strike. And he walked him. Now batter, catcher. Adley. Runners on the corners with one gone. Adley Rutschman, the next to hit for the Orioles. And that gets the top of the zone for a strike. There was a high velocity fastball in the zone. I think a little frustration from walking the previous hitter. He's got good stuff. Pitch inside the zone and trust it. Swings and misses. And it's nothing in two. I guess you throw it that hard, you can get away with locations like that right down the middle. But I still think it's a dangerous pitch. Don't want to do it again. At the belt and fires. Ball one. Ball one there. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. The one two. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. Edmund in position. Drops into the glove. Runner tags for home. That's a sacrifice fly as he comes across. And they now lead by nine. So up next, Anthony Santander. Over four, a couple of flyouts. He's also grounded out and struck out. Out to center. Edmund going after it. And makes the play, and that's out number three. Looks like he's heading back out for the ninth as he'll go for the shutout when we get back. Back here in Baltimore, we go to the ninth. Now it's the right fielder, Lars Newtbar. And a pitch. And yep, that's outside. That Definitely a frustrating day for the offense, but when they look at it, this guy's had his best stuff. He's painting the corners, working on the edges, and changing speeds. Just a difficult one. You tip your cap. Misses outside. Now 2-0. Oh. Movement in the Orioles' bullpen. Dylan Tate is up and throwing for Brandon High. Perez also throwing. Kicks and deals. That's in there, and a count two and one. In this situation, you expect the batters to be a little more patient, possibly take until they get a strike. With that, you don't want to miss your opportunity to get ahead early in the count. He didn't right there. The two one. Bounced up the middle. Westberg. Now one gone in the ninth. First of all, that's just a nice job to even get to that ball. And then even more impressive was the throw. Off balance, had to try to end the air, get his shoulders turned, and make a strong throw. Does show off the strength of the arm. We're usually used to seeing that kind of arm strength from the shortstop. Arenado hey. batting with one down, takes a strike. On the ground to third. Henderson over oh. to first in time. Now only one out remaining. Wilson and stepping in for the Cardinals, Wilson Contreras. 0 for 3. A fly out, a ground out, and a strikeout. Headed down the line. Santander in pursuit. And he's got it. Ball 
game. And the Orioles take this one in a blowout. It has become increasingly difficult to throw a complete game shutout because of all of the offensive prowess that these hitters are showing around the league today. But he had total command of this game, and he saw it all the way through to the end. Nice win. 9 nothing. your final in this one. As the Orioles win this one for Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chomby saying so long. First for the victorious Orioles, nine runs on 13 hits. No errors, they left seven runners on base. For St. Louis, no runs, five hits. No errors, they left five runners on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 21 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.